Hello, hello, hello. Good news, everybody. They've released the Record Store Day 2024 list. This is the UK list. It could be different in your locality. Do check there. Uh, again, this year's Record Store Day is the 20th of April 2024, where I will not be going into any record store because they're not near me. So I'll be catching up a week later when this stuff goes you know, on the websites and whatnot. Um, I don't know if it's best to look at the site or we'll have a look at the site because there's pictures there's pictures, here we go I could have pulled up the PDF um, so if you're into 10,000 Maniacs you're covered um, 1975 you've got something Air, Kelly Watch the Stars that could be good um, anything jumping out you? anything <laughs> anything jumping out you here? Um, not much. I know the Who have got. They've got something. Oh, Bebop Deluxe Future Armor. There you go. You might you might be interested in that. Uh, Black Sabbath Paranoid again. I'm sure that's been. Is it? How's that new? Ah, oh, Blur's Park Life of Zoetrope. I imagine it's got greyhounds running around, animated. <clears throat> Could be good. Again, if there's something on here that I don't talk about, mention it in the comment box below because engagement is engagement. Of course it is. Uh, um, uh, cranberries. Yeah, that's a that's an hypnosis sleeve there for their album. That's about that's, uh, David Sylvian. Yeah, got some Bowie, which is the uh, uh, waiting in the sky. Again, some of the some of the sleeves are not loading loading in properly. Why is that? Maybe everybody has what gone to look at this list. Doctor Who. Who likes Doctor Who? No one. No one likes Doctor Who. That's the answer to that. Um, Doctor Auburn. It's my life. Absolutely. Sign me up. Get me two copies of that. Um, as you can see, it's uh, yeah, yeah. But like I said, the, there is a there is a Who release which I will be getting my hands. Oh look, another version of Rumours there from Fleetwood Mac. Of course, why not? Zappa from President. That could be interesting if you like Frank Zappa. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, George Harrison's Electronic Sound for the uh, for the Beatles fan in your life and Wonderwall music. Hey, my boys, gold looking chain. They're represented. Oh, Cracker Island, Deluxe from Gorillas. My daughter would like that. She's a big Gorillas fan and Blur fan. Oh, Harmonia. Music Von Harmonia Anniversary Edition. For those who like the crapped rock, of course. There's a Jeff Buckley album. But yeah, you can see. You can see the list. Um, again, it's, it's not a lot. There's not a lot for the uh, the prog fan in your life. Oh, God. More evidence of uh, an uncaring, godless universe, coolest shaker of an album out. Jesus Christ. Ah, pure by Lightning Seeds. I like that. I've still got my original 7-inch um, of that in the record box. I think that's kind of me and the missus's song, I think. It could be. I think it could be. I'm not I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if we've I know we enjoyed it and we bought the seven inch when we was on holiday. Um so kind of Oh some Ludovico and I do I do like his uh, piano noodlings. Very good very good fun. Embarrassment by Madness could be worth a look. Some Mark Bolin and T Rex Zinc Alloy. I'm sure again that's been reissued before. Manson, little kicks. Ah, the gift by Midjo. Early versions. That's got if I was. Great, great, great song. Like that one. Oh, ah, ah, Ergis Ridge, fiftieth anniversary. I've seen us. I've seen us something. I've seen us something that could be of, of interest. Does it give us any details? Come on, give us some details. Give us some meat. Give us some meat. 
Ah, there we go. By 1974, Mike Oldfield was given, coming to terms with his norm, norm, normal success of tubular bells, blah, 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 exorcist, blah, 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 Grammy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he drove west from London and set up to Kington, a beautiful market town in Herefordshire. The town is dominated by Hergis Ridge, long high common land with breathtaking views that stretches from town to Gladestree in Wales, combining the flying gl his gliders on the ridge he played in the local inn, a pair uh, Penrose Court, Oldfield came up with Hergis Ridge, a successor of Tubular Bells, written at the Beacon, his home there on the borders. Mike's demo of the album, that was ultimately released in August 1974, top of the chart, was first released on a two CD set in 2010. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got that. Um, saying now for Record Store Day, it makes its debut on vinyl. Again, that kind of goes with the Tubular Bells demos that they put out. So I'll be trying to pick that one up. And uh, yeah. And I like the artwork. The artwork's nice. A glider on top of Hergistridge. So, there we go. That's a standout, isn't it? That's something to look forward to. Um, who knows? There might be. Again, I've not looked at this. <laughs> I'm looking at this the first time, so there might be another surprise lurking. Um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. But no. Not really getting much else. Oh, public image, their last three albums. Oh, God. Uh, intro, the Pulp Early Years compilation. That's been kicked around so many times. Now, on the final. A Dark Side of the Moon Redux picture disc by what that there, Roger Waters. We can all avoid that. Ah, 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 ah. The Roaches. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, it's going to be expensive. Uh, Ruby Red Final Edition, limited 45 fifth anniversary edition. Absolutely. Um, yeah, there's it's produced by that that the, the featured artist, but it's one of my favourites. Rolling Stones. Ah, Filth and Fury original soundtrack for the Sex Pistols. Another interesting one. Could be worth uh, a chance. So actually, there are some... St oh, Steps. Got to get the uh, Steps Remixes album. Of course. Uh, Talking Heads live on tour. A Kiss of Life is 20 by Supergrass. Hmm, interesting. So there were some stuff. There were... <laughs> Tom Tom Club, Genius Love Remix album. Hmm, don't know. Tom Jones album, guy goes to the doctor, he says, Doctor, Doctor, I feel like Tom Jones. And the doctor says, it's not unusual. Okay. I'm doing my best here. Just making up as I go along. Ultravox, Stephen Wilson extended remixes. Oh, now you're tempting me. Tribute to Noi? Could be good, I don't know. I'd have to check that out. And a tribute to Lou Reed. It was a short summer Charlie Brown by Vince Guaraldi. Again, another one of my favourites there. But I'll be trying to get hold of Story of the Who by the Who. That that compilation I remember seeing seeing around in second hand record shops a lot back in the day. But it's um it's a it's got a double album and it's uh, got two colour vinyl, pink and green, with an H page booklet. So I'm going to try and pick that one up. Uh, oh, hey, we've got a yes one. Yes at the Yale Bowl, 1971. Uh, there's nothing else to say there, but other than that, it features yours is no disgrace. I've seen all good people clap, classical gas and perpetual change. So uh, that could be another another one to look out for. Blimey, this is getting expensive. And that's it. I think we'll call it a day. So yeah, that was the Record Store Day 20, 20th of April of 2024 edition. There are, there are a few bits in there. The Old Field, the Roaches, oh, the Who. Um, yes. Oh God, this could be quite expensive. So what on the list catches your eye? Leave a comment in the comment box below because engagement is engagement. That's the new slogan. 
they'll all be saying it tomorrow at school. Anyway, thank you for indulging me. That's another, that's more content to shove down your content hole. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. The only more thing I've saying that is, uh, ta-ta.